In this example, we will be finding the square root of 100. In order to find the square root of 100, or any value, usually we find the factors of that value, then we expand it out using a map rule, and then we simplify. However, the square root of 100 is an exception to our rule because it is a perfect square. A perfect square is a value that if you take the square root of that perfect square, you will obtain a whole number. Some examples of perfect squares include 1 squared, which gives us 1 as a perfect square, 4 squared, which gives us 16 as a perfect square, 7 squared, which gives us 49 as a perfect square, and 9 squared, which gives us 81 as a perfect square. Now we want to think about what number times itself gives us 100. The answer to this will be 10 times 10. If we multiply 10 times 10, we can see we do 0 times 0 giving us 0, 1 times 0 giving us 0, a 0 as a placeholder, 1 times 0 giving us 0, and lastly 1 times 1 giving us 1 for a final answer of 100. As shown, we can see that 10 times 10 gives us 100. Therefore, 10 squared equals 100. And then the square root of 100 would then be checked. So very simply, the square root of 100 is just 10. There is no estimation required and no further simplification.